an eighth of a quadrant. Sixty-four squares, that is all. In an eighth of a quadrant, I found a zone and a tone that may keep me a celebrant. Hang it all, not quite my own, cerebral, ethereal, many the layers under the stone, where I have gone to, what I have done, calcification of bone. I have a new ringtone, clarity, less abstract, concrete, compact, congealed, hardened, an entity. Then water drowned in a stone and disengaged the intact. O oh, tablet, my tablet, my phone, I'd rather sing than didact. So, to be clear, I see what I hear, then on this instrument act. Blocked for ten days, the reversal, like sun grew round as it spun from elliptical into a square, blocks building light one by one, making the air a structure undone by tone-deaf miasma, without an iota of how to shift shapes and become. Locked in a box, quartered and squared, a mime searching where the limiting air drowns in a nightmare, or how to escape from everywhere, the painted face sadly aware that there is no place in shriveling space for comfort or care. The synapse of order and chaos, eclipsed in shadow, a linear sorrow, recurrent abyss, whirls in the spheres, widens, then narrows, then reappears where laughter sows, cycles of breath, life into death, where we could come, could we go? Here, with all after, what vision exists when the king is contained in two squares? The black queen stares into the space she constructs with straightforward ways, her deft spatial power, diagonal rays from her eyes, back and forth, only constrained by eight ranks and files, the edges of parallels, quadrants she already reigns. When an eighth expands to a quarter, the language of symbols, freed in its syllables, sudden in self-contained laughter, escapes the debate to drift with the angels, fleecing the fates as Deus Sex Angelus exchanges the queens. Then pawn becomes queen, vivat regina, the chorus. No nary nay more and never again. I laid the king down in crisp autumn ground and listened to leaves and the wind. I watched as they fastened the coffin. That lowered rectangular sound echoes what grief lies therein. Memory bursts into harmony, life and death. Listen, each one half frozen, no chill, just a glacier packed sea. Out of a quadrant, a circular root brings me around to a sound I heard in the blue note three blocks from Washington Square, where eyes had found a triumphal arch supporting an air that stared through rectangular light as a chess clock ticks, jazzy riffs, lampposts leap up like lights.